I'd be a lot better off if I would have studied more when I was growing up, you know? But you know where it all went wrong was the day they started the spelling bee. Because up until that day, I was an idiot, but nobody else knew, you know? And the spelling bee day, you know, popped up. All right, kids, up against a wall. It's time for public humiliation. Spell a word wrong, sit down in front of your friends. You know, that's great for little egos. Hey, look at me, I'm a moron. I wasn't even close. I was using numbers and stuff. That's why I admired that kid who spelled it wrong on purpose so he could sit down, you know? He knew he wasn't gonna win, so why stand there for three hours? First round, cat, K-A-T, I'm out of here. <laughs> then as he passed you, <laughs> I know there's two T's. <laughs> I remember my teacher asked me, Brian, what's the I before E roll? Oh, um, I before E, always. <laughs> what are you, an idiot, Brian? Well, apparently. <laughs> so she explains it. No, Brian, it's I before E, except after C. And when sounding like A is a neighboring way. And on weekends and holidays and all throughout May, and you'll always be wrong no matter what you say. <laughs> oh, that's a hard rule. That's a, that's a rough rule. Plurals were hard, too. Brian, how do you make a word a plural? You put a S. You put a S at the end of it. When? <sighs> On weekends and holidays. <laughs> no, Brian. No, let me show you. So she asked this kid who knew everything, Irwin. Irwin, Irwin, what is he plural for? Ox. Oxen. The farmer used his oxen. Brian, what? <laughs> Brian, what's the plural for? Box. Boxing. I bought two boxing of donuts. Oh, no, Brian, no. Let's try another one. Erwin, what is he plural for? Goose, geese. I saw a flock of geese. Brian, what? Brian, what's the plural for? Moose. Moosen! I saw a flock of moosen! There are many of them, many much moosen! Out in the woods, in the woodes, in the woodsen! The meat's wanting the food, food is to eating, is it? The meat's wanting the food and in the wooding, is it? In the food in the wooding, is it? Brian, Brian. You're an imbecile. Imbecilin! What are you speaking, German, Brian? German, Germain, Germain, Jackson! Jackson 5, Tito! Brian, what the hell are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know, really. I think the worst day that was the day the science project was due. Waking up that morning, that was fun, huh? Yeah. Your head would pop off your pillow. Oh, no. That's due today. I had nine months to work on it, I did nothing. I have a cardboard box. A boxing. And you'd show up, you're scared because you don't have anything good, and you find out all the other kids, their parents made theirs for them. I hated that, you know? They're backing them in on flatbed trucks. One kid with a volcano. He didn't have to zip up his own pants, but he built a volcano. He had to swing that. I don't know what to do for my project, so I brought in a paper cup filled with dirt, just hoping she'd know I'm an idiot and just walk right on past me. Just as long as I was holding something. Uh -huh. What do you have there, Brian? Oh, it's a cup of dirt. Just put an F on there and let me go home. Well, explain it. Well, it's a cup with dirt in it. I call it cup of dirt. You should move on now. You should go ahead and move on. Head on down the line there. So she went to this one kid. There was a kid in my class. He made the same solar system like 19 years in a row, you know? Bunch of styrofoam balls held together with coat hangers. Hey, you're breaking some new ground there, Copernicus. 
He's going, the big yellow one's the sun. The yellow one is the sun. Okay, all right, what are these other planets? The big yellow one is the sun. All right, calm down. The one, all right! <laughs>